Hi there, everybody. This is Ruby. Uh, the phone don't have much charge to it, so I'm going to do this real quick. Um, I'm going to take this brooch, and I'm going to put silicone on it, and I'm going to do my best to make a mold. And, uh, sorry, my phone is probably not in the best position, but it is what it is. So, and no, I don't have any gloves because I am out of gloves right now. But I'm just going to use a hot glue gun and I'm going to glue down the uh, piece so that it doesn't float. I don't think it will because it's kind of heavy, but it also helps me get it in a spot. So I will be back just as soon as I get everything re uh, else ready. There we go. Uh, let's see, uh, I'm going to start getting this accomplished. Hopefully the gun's hot enough now. This will help hold it down, hold it in place because there's a lot of dangle. Ouch, that's hot. Dummy. You dummy, that's hot. Nope, missed again. Try again. Alright, that's got that held down. So I'm plug that gun. Yesterday, I got in, so two things happened. I got my silicone. I, uh, this is my weight. I got my silicone. I went to Walmart and I got some uh, new glitter. And uh, also, I ordered from Let's Resin their holographic glitter. So I've got that as well. So once this mold is up and ready to go, I'm going to take and, uh, ouch, sorry, I just, mosquitoes ate me up yesterday. We was outside. Yesterday was, or my, Sunday was my daughter's birthday. And we were all sitting outside and the mosquitoes thought we were, uh, dinner, I guess. Every one of us got bit. Even though we had on bug spray and everything else. So that's the way it is, I suppose. Mosquitoes are relentless regardless. I come off of there now. That little one just popped right off and this was like, nope, mm -mm. Pardon my arm. Aha, I win. So, let's see. Um, not sure how much it's gonna take. This is just a little small cookie tin I have better than trying to put together the, the housing, mold housing. But, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna pour in this and uh, uh, hopefully we can get stuff accomplished. But anyway, I got some new, um, ouch, sorry, itchy. I got some new silicone, I got some new resin, or yeah, new resin. It's not gonna hold, it's gonna float like crazy. All these will hold either. Yeah, I've got some shell here somewhere that I will weigh it down. That's what I'll do. And I'll have several of them, like a couple of them I can use as. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out weights to put in here to kind of not use quite so much resin. The last time I tried to use these old glass bottles, they floated like crazy without something in them. So I'm like, okay, I'll just fill them up with shells, which is what I've got a lot of. And hopefully that will help hold them down. It should. I mean, it did last time, but. I love these shells, these uh, dyed shells I get at Walmart. Sam or not. Ah! 
I will. That's it. Loose the freaking lid to it, Ruby. You dummy. Stay. <laughs> Let's steal the lid off one of these other ones and I'll find that lid here in a minute. Sorry, I'm gonna just been a goofy day today. Need anything else in there? Anything else fit in there? Let's see. too close. I don't want to mess them up the, with the resin. So I have another piece in here. That's too big. Lacey, stop. Lacey! That's enough. Sorry about that, y'all. Alright, um... I'm going to try six ounces. So this is a one-to-one -one resin. Ounces, there we go. This is a one-to-one -one resin, and it's by weight. And this is the Tea Expert one. I just got it yesterday as well. It's the first chance I get to pour with it, so we'll see. Need three ounces. Woo! quick. There we go. Three ounces. Hot diggity. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stir this for a good, I don't know, two, three minutes. And then, uh, Alexa, set a three minute uh, timer. Three minutes, starting now. I probably don't want to sit here and watch me stir, but I'll go ahead and pause it. Pause, there we go. Nope. Let's pause. Y'all, I ended up making up 12 ounces, and most of it went into here. And I'm making a plug for these because sometimes these cave in on me, and then I use the rest of it to uh, pour into this cabochon mold and see if I can uh, make a few small inlays. Uh, so <coughs> that's what I'm doing today, and uh, we'll be back here so about this time tomorrow for the uh, unmolding. I'll see y'all then. Bye. Hello, y'all. This is Ruby. And, uh, I put these in the uh, curing machine. So we're going to unmold and see if I'm successful at making a mold. Or maybe not. So we can get this one out first. It may not. It may stick to this silicone. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Way. But sometimes this mold will buckle on me. So if I make a center and put in it, then hopefully it won't buckle on me anymore. So there's my center. It's just a blob, basically. And then we got this one. I'm not sure if this one's going to come out of here or not. It's loosening. That's a good thing. Basically trying to save on some of the silicone. 
And this is just my little butter knife I use for my crafting. Loosen it up all the way around the side here. So far so good. I did get underneath there, but that's alright. Not that big a deal. Now let's have to get that brooch out of there. Alright, if I can get my chair to move the way I need to. Some of it did go under it. So I'm just going to take a crafting knife. I'm just going to slice right down it. This back piece off. Just the one under the brooch. Come on now. Or not? Maybe not. going to go into. Just. I guess that uh, glue did not settle right with the uh, with silicone. It's still gooey right there. That's okay. I'll get it off. Silicone definitely did not make that glue good. Oops. Should be fine. No, I promise you I am not cutting my fingers. I've handled knives. This one's still fairly sharp. It's the dull knives you gotta worry about. it takes twice as long for a dull knife to cut through something as it does for a sharp knife. So therefore you tend to apply more pressure. I've gotten cut more often on a dull knife than I have ever had on a sharp knife. That's a small bit. It may not work at all, I don't know. If it doesn't, well, I've just wasted some silicone.
out though. I love it is anyway. Pull it the rest of the way out. I don't know. This might not be worth it. Scissors. Maybe this will work. This mold 24 hours. It does have some facets in there though. Kind of pretty. So I'm gonna give it 24 hours for it to finish curing. Let it set and then I'll pour it and we'll see what happens. Alright y'all, I'll see you in a little while. Bye. Oh, I forgot about these. So uh I'm gonna do these. I like to make cabochon uh, inlays because sometimes I just like to put them in the resin and then just color them with chameleon powder. Nothing being too much, I guess. Too much, too much, much, too much. And these are just popping right out. Not a problem. <laughs> and then I have broken. I color this uh, uh, silicone with a little bit of mica powder. I don't know if I could or not. Didn't say on the paperwork if it could, it could be colored or not. So I colored it. Apparently, it can be colored. Doesn't seem to be throwing too much of a bit. Other than the bottom seems to be a little sticky, but I think it's because it's not fully. It's not been a full 24 hours. It's only been about. Five or six. There we go. I might make it a little easier, right? Let's pop them up and scoop them off. Yeehaw! Oh, an overflowed. My my daughter used to say Odin floating. Mama, it's Odin floating. Okay. It's <laughs> turned 38 on Sunday. I can't believe my baby's all grown up. Of course, she got babies of her own, so I can't believe they're grown up either. My, son, my grandson just turned uh, nine years old Monday. My daughter turned 38 Sunday. My uh, grandson turned nine on Monday. And my granddaughter will be 12 in November. So I'm like, where did the time go? Okay, that one's no good. This one may not be any good either. It may not be enough. There we go. But 
text message from my neighbor earlier saying, your water hose is leaking. Crap. So I had to go through real quick and shut it off. All I need is a friggin' water bill I can't pay. It had leaked before and I didn't realize it. And, uh, yeah. Ended up with a $157 water bill for that month. Because it was just pouring out of there. Man. I didn't know it was on, much less that it was. So I went and bought some new gaskets for it. Another. There we go. I bought some new gaskets for the water hose part. Thinking maybe that might help the problem. And it did for a while, now it's starting to leak again. So I'm going to have to put another <laughs> water hose gasket on it. Oh no. But anyway, there y'all go. I know they're hard to see because my lighting sucks in here. Yeah, there's no little love. So my cabochon inlays I did. I'll play around with them later when I get a chance. But you yeah, know, that's not a whole lot, but not nothing fancy. I can't wait for that uh, roach mold to uh, cure up, finish curing up, and then we'll, uh, we'll get to see what I can pour with it since I got these new thingy things. Where'd they go? I got these new uh, holographic glitters from Let's Resin. I got a six piece set, so I'm excited. Put the lid back on this one. And I also was at Walmart yes, uh, yesterday, and I got me some new glitter. This one is called Unicorn Disco, if you can read that or not. And this one is Crystal Diamond. I love this Crystal Diamond. I, I, it's like the third or fourth container I bought of it. And they just stack up together. It makes it a lot easier. So, anyway, y'all, uh, that's it for now. And, uh... I will see you all in the next upload. Bye.